Put your hands in front of you. You do the same thing. And on the count of three, let's all fold arms. You ready? One, two, three. Now, have a look at your arms. Mm -hmm. Which arm is on top, right or left? Well, for me, it's uh, the right. For me too. How about you? If there are several of you in the room, look around the room. Maybe some of you have right arm on top and others have left arm on top. Whichever way it is, I want you to do it again, but this time make it come out the other way around. So for us, we have to end up with left arm on top. Let's try it. One, two, three. Um, it feels awkward, awkward doesn't, doesn't it? it? You can yes, do it eventually, but it takes longer. Mm. Most people automatically fold arms the same way every time. Well, you and I are both right-handed. Does yes. that make any difference? That's a very good question. Why don't you check it out with all of your friends and see if there is any relationship between which hand you use most of the time and which arm ends up on top. This time it's not arm folding, but hand clasping. So we'll start with hands on the table, and on the count of three, you two, on the count of three, clasp the hands together with fingers and thumbs interlocked. One, two, three. Which thumb's on top, Rob? Uh, for me, it's the right one again. For me, left one. Hmm. How about you at home? Left or right? Have a look at them. This time, let's try it and make the opposite thumb come on top. Ready, set, go. Feels awkward, doesn't it? Yeah, it's not as bad as before, but mm. it does feel odd. They don't seem to fit as well. But once again, most people will always end up with the thumbs the same way around. Mm, it's not strange. So when you're checking out arm folding this week, also check out hand clasping and see which thumb comes on top most times. I want to know.